So let's write down our sum here again. So we have got L is running from minus infinity to plus infinity here. And then we've got our x n l n in here. And so we could call this x infinity here because it's essentially running in time from negative infinity to plus infinity here in the sample domain. So how does it look like in our plot here? So we have got here our n minus 1 somewhere. So that's our n now in the in the sample time domain here. That's our x infinity n. So imagine now we've got a signal which looks like that. Then this signal would repeat here the same and so on and so on. So it would repeat here. So we're getting copies. So again, as long as the signal is shorter than this n minus 1, then everything is fine. But um, imagine we have we have a signal which is longer than this, so something like that. And then this starts here again. Then we're getting the same ambiguity here as before. So we are getting here ambiguity. And remember what we talked about before with our with our example where we had um, fs equals 1 kilohertz and we had n equals 1000 that's the lowest frequency we could represent or the lowest the lowest time resulting out of this was one second because the lowest frequency was um, so f min was one hertz and so this means that if we are representing for example a signal which has 0.1 hertz then this won't work anymore so this is represented here so if, if you have a wave which is longer then this n minus 1 here, this would overlap and can no longer be represented. So that's the effect of the of the sampling here in the frequency domain, that we're getting a lowest frequency, and so therefore we can only represent a certain hump at a certain duration.